I do love the Philippines but no doubt as many of you would know. The Philippines is a wonderful and amazing country. With so much beauty. No matter what reasons we are each drawn to the Philippines. There is also a harsh reality more foreign men are realizing during this current global crisis. In recent years more and more foreign men have been planning their retirement in the Philippines. For many they may be drawn there by a beautiful Filipina they're dating or married to. They may feel that they don't have enough money to live in their retirement in their own country. Let's face it, the cost of living in many countries is very high. And the Philippines with its much lower cost of living will ensure your money goes much further. I was drawn to the Philippines at the very young age of 15. When I went on a vacation through Southeast Asia with my parents. The Philippines was the one country that stuck in my mind and with me for all these years. In fact, it was that memory that led me to find my wife in 2013 in the Philippines some 33 years later. Through my wife I have come to understand much more about the Philippines, Filipino people and their culture which I love dearly. And I do love the Philippines but as one gets older is it a wise move? After all one can appreciate the Philippines more so I believe as a regular tourist. Let me explain my thoughts and reasoning. As a tourist it is a very interesting and exciting country to visit, learn about and explore for a few weeks at a time. There is so much beauty and wonder that one can never see or experience it fully. There simply isn't enough hours in one's lifetime to do so. When one is in the Philippines you will get glimpses of how things are so different there. The cities will be chaotic with many people and cars. In many areas throughout the Philippines the internet may be slow or even non-existent. The way of doing very basic things can take much longer than you would expect. The heat and humidity is unbearable for some. Seeing the poverty around the big cities and in some province areas makes you glad to be going home again. I don't need to list everything but my point here is, that it's a great country to visit regularly but living there is a totally different matter. Many people thinking or looking to retire in the Philippines I believe do so mainly for financial reasons. Simply for many, they don't have enough savings to retire comfortably in a country like Australia, the UK or the USA. The question here would be, if these guys had the money would they ever leave their own country? I do believe for many, the answer would be no. Especially when one looks at the differences between the health system in the Philippines to that in the USA or Australia for example. Simply there is no comparison. And when we look at things logically. The time when we are most likely to need high quality medical treatment is as we grow older. By moving full time to the Philippines in our older age, are we sacrificing, potentially, years off our life? No one knows what the future holds and perhaps we will get lucky and not need top quality medical treatment at all. But what happens to the ones that do have a major health crisis? Will they be even able to travel back to their own countries for treatment? Most likely not if it is something like heart problems or a stroke. So I do believe people who move to the Philippines to live mainly from their retirement pensions are the ones who may be making a huge life sacrifice in the end. And what about for the time they are living in the Philippines? What sort of life will they be living if they are only living off a pension with a small fixed amount? It certainly won't be the same as visiting there once or twice a year where you will be able to explore the country and have a fantastic time. Make no mistake, for many foreigners who live in the Philippines it will be a very simplistic lifestyle. And nothing at all like you have experienced as a tourist. And that's not to mention having to deal with many natural disasters you are very likely to encounter as time goes by. Such as typhoons that lash the country every year, earthquakes, volcano eruptions, monsoons and floods. But as I say, the main consideration is the health care as we get older. This is something one can't take for granted and simply we must value. That is why I say I love the Philippines but we can have the best of both worlds. We can stay in our country where we have the very best health care, just in case. And we can visit the Philippines anywhere from a few times a year to once a year or once every few years depending on our budget. I found that once I started to think about it in this way the decision to continue to be a tourist in a country I love, rather than becoming an expat and possibly putting my health at risk at some point in the future. 
became far more of an easy decision to make. And really for me at least it is a decision that I am very at peace with. Everyone is different and places different values around their own lives. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts around this. Can you afford to retire in your own country? What is the thing most that may or has drawn you to retire or live in the Philippines? Thanks for watching, I appreciate your support. Stay safe and take care.